What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 2, Problem 14 in the Fundamentals of Physics 10th Edition textbook by Jiro Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 2 is all about motion along a straight line. And in Problem 14, we're given the position equation for an electron and asked to find where the electron is when it momentarily stops. And so if the electron is momentarily stopping, that means that the velocity is equal to zero. But we also know that velocity is equal to the derivative of x with respect to time, where x is the position. And in the problem, we are told that the motion of the particle is defined by this equation. x is equal to 16t times e to the negative t, where t is your time. And so first what we need to do is find the time at which the velocity is zero, and what we can do is take this derivative. So the derivative of 16t times e to the negative t with respect to time, that is equal to zero. And this requires the product rule. I'm gonna make 16t the first term and e to the negative t the second term. And so it's the first term times the derivative of the second term plus the second term times the derivative of the first term. And so that right there is equal to negative 16t e to the negative t plus 16e to the negative t. And so we have a 16e negative t in both of these terms, so we can factor that out. I'm just going to rearrange this really quick, and this will be 16e to the negative t minus 16t e to the negative t. And so now if we take out 16e to the negative t in both of these terms, that'll leave us with 16e to the negative t times 1 minus t, and this is equal to 0. And so in order for this term to be zero, we need this term right here to be zero. And so that means that t has to be one, because if t is one, this is one minus one, which is zero, and zero times this term will be zero. And so this tells us right here that t is equal to one. And so now what we're asked to find is the position of the electron when the velocity is equal to zero. So we just found that that is at t equals one, and so now we need to find x at t equals 1. And so what we can do is use our position equation and plug in t equals 1. So x at t equals 1 is equal to 16 times 1 times e to the negative 1. And if you plug that into your calculator, you'll find that x at t equals 1 is equal to 5.9 meters. And so that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.